morning everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for another video. This is not going to be our standard video. Decided after the last one I recorded that we are going to do a road trip video this time. Never really made one of these, I kind of attempted a couple times in the past, but you know, I'm just going to um, kind of make a few videos and you know, have a lot of extra time. We are headed up to Michigan today. Um, Onyx in the back is being dropped off uh, with my dad. It's just me and my mom going up to Michigan. And then, um, yeah, we're hopefully going to have a good drive. We're going to go up to Cincinnati today. My mom booked us a hotel just north of there. And then uh, that'll probably be day one of the video. And then we'll do uh, day two going up to Michigan. Yeah, see you once we're back. This is uh, I 40. doesn't like me not paying attention but then we're out to go through the tunnel this is where it got washed away from hurricane and lean down to one lane on both sides and they rebuilt the river unfortunately you can't really see it on this side go ahead and stick this in here the tunnels are always fun to go through Two tunnels on this road, right? Oh. Uh, there's two tunnels going one way and one going the other way. I don't remember which way is which. We are actually going to call the Newport Supercharger, even though it's in Wilsonville. It's at loads. Well, there you can see where it's been washed. Uh, yeah, you can really see now. Done a lot of work. This entire road was covered in water. Generally unpassable for what, six months or so? For at least three months. Let's see that. Yep. They're about to open a supercharger right here at the Loves the gas station. And then we're gonna take 25 up this way. That's just more of a scenic route. It's much better. If you ever go from Asheville to London, Kentucky recommend going 25 versus going around Knoxville. So much better. Hey everyone, we are in the Newport Supercharger. This is the first time I've plugged it in to a version four charger. However, they're not active yet. It does, the, um, whatever you call it, does work. It does uh, connect in, but it doesn't, uh, let me charge. Stall out of service, try a different stall. Um, it's not gonna work though, I'm not expecting it to. But yeah. We just wanted to stop here because it's right on the route of what we're going. It has a really nice stop, actually. I have a love travel stop. I suspect there's going to be a mega charger here for Tesla Semi one day. Makes sense. And then um, this is a great spot to sit down. You have trash cans. There's, air, there's an air pump right behind that station right there to fill your tires with air. Nice dog park. Like, really nice. One time we're not bringing Onyx. Unsupervised play here. <laughs> That's really cool. They have this. Yeah. Trip's going good so far. You're getting freaking amazing efficiency going so slow on 40. With a 200 watt hour per mile to get here from home. And that's going up the mountain. Oh yeah, can't wait for these to be open. I'll see you on the road. We are at the Cumberland Gap Visitor Center right across the Virginia-Kentucky border. Um, 
We, there's a overlook we're gonna go to. It's about 16 minutes from here. Just a few miles is actually way up there. So, I'm stopping for a bathroom break, and then we're going on. I have show you our setup. I have a cooler testing out in here, and uh, though since the 12 volt turns off now, I need to turn that back on. Let me show you how to do that real quick, actually. Um, if it's on the charging, so keep accessory power on. So keeps the USB ports and um, the uh, cigarette lighter for my dash cam, as well as the cooler. I can I just heard the cooler kick on. So we are headed to London, Kentucky, uh, just for a quick charge, and then we're going to Richmond, Kentucky, to Bucky's to get some lunch and see if this will show. AT&T actually has single here. Funny enough, but um, yeah, we're going to Pinnacle Overlook. Add that in our post at 16% lending. If you're ever going going through here, I definitely recommend taking 25. So through um, come this way through Morristown, through here to lending versus going around Knoxville around it I would this section of 75 sucks <laughs> I would not recommend but 25 is such a pleasant road there's no traffic super smooth you have nice nice scenic drive you get better efficiency it's less miles it's just to me it's and it's only 10 minutes top slower I mean, so many benefits so and uh see you at the top made it up to the top fortunately hardware free does not park yet and it it did do this on its own, but not very well. It's so in between the lines, isn't it? Yeah, it's in between the lines. We're only one other car here, so I figured it's okay. And that it's really foggy up here because it, the cold front's coming through with the rain that just went through last night. And the overlook's over here. Oh, great. There's a raccoon. I think we're fine. Come to Wing Gap. Visitor Center, we just went up this nice curvy road. That would have been a good one to record. It did it perfectly, actually, going up that road. Oh, wow. Back when there were no trees. I can see a little bit. Fern Lake. Oh, yeah, I can see, yeah. Tennessee, Virginia, and Kentucky all in one spot down there. It's pretty cool. So we walked a little bit further. Normally you would see this view in Powell's Valley, but we're in a cloud. <laughs> Can't see anything today. I guess we'll stop in that overlook on the way down. You can kind of see the town. It'd be a couple hours before it cleared out because the, everything's going east. But it should clear out, but you'll have to view it from this picture. On our way down, you actually have a decent view down here, like <laughs> halfway down. Only a tiny little pull-off section right here. Tiny enough. But yeah. Nice view, that's Middlesbrough. This is the, a great spot in your Tesla to stay. There's a, I guess you can't see it. Uh, there's uh, two hotels that have um, EV charging and one even allows dogs. We stayed back here twice coming back from Michigan. It's a good spot coming back from Asheville. And you don't have to stop, charge up overnight, charging including, it's really nice. Zoom in a little bit for everyone. We're at the London Supercharger, just got here. It's ramping up. I'm um, at one of the poultry stalls. Just quick, we only had to stop here for all like five minutes. Two, it says two minutes. Go a little bit longer than that. Oh yeah, you're driving. Stretched and we'll get a Richmond. You gotta get out.
Mom's gonna drive, and I'm gonna take a break for a second. When we first got the car, these were the only chargers here, and these are added on after pull free starts were charging with a trailer. Okay. Almost Bucky's get some brisket. Got my mom using full self driving. You've only what, used it once before? Basically, the last time we came to Michigan, he used it, but that was on a, a version 2. Uh, 12, 1242 when it came out in May and then this is 1243 or I think a much much better version we haven't had a necessary destination the whole way at least I think my mom disagrees with me <laughs> <laughs> and then um, so we have making her drive to Bucky's and then I'll drive the rest, the rest of the way here and we'll charge overnight at the hotel. And um, that'll be a nice, nice easy drive through Cincinnati. Hope so. And then um, felt to move over for the truck. It moves over to the right part of the lane when a, when a semi truck passes and then it goes back over. Hey everyone, we are at the Bucky Supercharger. Richmond, Richmond, Kentucky. If you've never been to a Bucky's, man, it's an experience. So we're uh, we're gonna go in real quick, use the bathroom, grab a grab a brisket, and go out because it's gotta charge quicker than we can than we can use the bathroom and get some food. Oh my God, there's so many people in here. It is the busiest I've ever been. Seen one. <laughs> Trust me, it's worth it. It's, it's absolutely insane. Completely worth it. I'm gonna rush back to the car because it charges so quickly. You can't get in the bathroom and get food before it's finished charging. Since we have charging at the hotel tonight, I'm not going to pay any extra than I have to. So it's already overcharged. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it here. And let's see what we got to. I love these cards here. These are so cool now. 37 kilo hours at 34 cents a kilo hour. 12 hours and 48 cents. We're going to arrive... That seems a little bit low, actually. I expect it to have to be higher. Um, it probably will go up as we drive. It's usually pretty conservative, but it's saying two out, two and a half hours to our hotel. That should actually be just right, to be honest. That allows us to arrive at the hotel at a low, low charge, and make it there just in time. We made it to our hotel. They have two destination chargers right here. And uh, this is the hotel. Avid and IHG go. So, charges at 48 amps. So we're gonna, I'm gonna charge up to 100% overnight. And then we'll probably stop in Finley, Ohio in the morning. But we're gonna go to, there's an Ikea down there, a Bass Pro Shop and a Duluth Trading. So we're gonna go find those later, go have some dinner, and relax a little bit. And we just got out of Ikea. Love this store. It's just like a, a maze of furniture and stuff. All I got were some, some plates. So. Uh, it's for camping purposes. <laughs> it's about like $12, but pretty cool. We're gonna go back to the hotel and chill, and then we'll come back tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we just pulled up the car up front. It did just charge a while, I just missed it. It was at 297, it just drove around the parking lot. Um, so apparently 100% now is 297 in my car. 7.5% loss after seven years isn't too bad. About 1% per year. And um, though, of course, my mileage is way less than most people, so 
calendar aging really matters. Yeah, we are, our next stop is going to be Finley. Um, we're going to go up here. Go ahead and get this navigating. And we're about to eat breakfast and then we're going to head out. I hope we can get us in the right spot. Oh, that's why we're not north facing. There we go. Oh, even better. You know, if I turn it the right direction. Here we go. Finley. I think we're doing the one further south because apparently this one's cheaper. It's 31 cents. I'm so glad they put this in the car. See, when you first, when I first got this car, they didn't have this. 37 cents. And it's the V3, so I'm not sure why this one's cheaper. But we are going there. How long is that gonna, gonna take us? Two hours, not too bad, and we'll be at 50%. I'll see you there. We've literally never seen this before. We just backed into the stall, and it it knew before I even got out of the car that the stall was out of order. So instead of me wasting my time... Oh, wait. That says 1B. Oh, let's try it anyway. Ha. Huh. This is the first V4 charger I've been at. So I don't know if it works or not. Indicating from blue. There it is, green. Okay, well, I thought that was cool. They're trying. <laughs> they got it wrong, I guess. Well, you didn't try C1. Well, I thought it was like it detected the stall I pulled into. It, like it read, there's one C right there. Maybe, okay, it was close to one C. Or it was C3, whatever it was. Anyways, this is the first version four. Almost the entire drive here, it was preconditioning. So, of course, we're only at 44% when we pulled in. So, so we basically only have to charge here just a couple minutes because the next stop is going to be Brighton. So, if we come up here, right, Michigan. And I think we're going to make a stop to Cabela's on the way, somewhere in there. So we actually already can make it to Brighton. We could have drove straight there, apparently. Um, but we're going to charge up. It's actually cheaper to charge here. So we're, gonna, we're just going to stay here longer and charge up to like 80% or something. And then um, be on our way to uh, Brighton. First time charging there. That's also a V4 charger. Oh so yeah, trip's going well. And... Um, I'll see you on the next stop. We are at our second version 4 supercharger at uh, Brighton, Michigan. So we are uh, charging over here. Gonna go get some lunch. Got a bunch of traffic around at Ann Arbor. And um, this is gonna be our last stop before we get to our destination. Hey everyone, it's Rocco. It's, it's obviously the next day and we're in different clothes. <laughs> Forgot to make a final update before we got here. We successfully made it to Michigan. 760 miles to get here and um uh just fsd did absolutely incredible um one for sure critical disengagement there's a large piece of tire in the middle of the road and it was not gonna swerve around it and hitting that tire could have had some potential problems um another one which debatably was a safety critical it definitely absolutely missed a correct turn uh it would have gone off the wrong exit and uh would have rerouted probably everything would have been fine just would have delayed us um <laughs> me and my mom had an argument about that because i was paying attention to the car car is doing everything wrong because i didn't know where to go anyways but my mom did because she's from this area anyways um uh, but yeah considering you know one critical disengagement every 500 miles it's pretty good that's really, like, really, really good. And this is on version 3. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, this is going to be the end of this video. I'd probably really long. I don't know. Just playing playing around with these videos. We'll see if, uh, let me know if they need to be shorter, longer, change it around. What, what do you think? Okay, see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone.